In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for the eternal rest of Charles Tyndall. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries by acknowledging our sins before the presence of the Lord. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just and offer pardon to sinners who do penance, have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, In a time of favor I answer you. On the day of salvation I help you. And I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, Come out, to those in darkness, Show yourself. Along the ways they shall find pasture. On every bare height shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them leads them and guides them beside springs of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highway level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and the west, and some from the lands of Cyrene. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains, for the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant? Be without tenderness for the child of her womb. Even if she forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, the Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all, and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is faithful in all his words, and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling, and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. 
The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Jesus answered the Jews. My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the son cannot do anything on his own but only what he sees the Father doing. For what he does, the Son will do also. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever he wishes nor does the Father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen. Amen, I say to you. Whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not con and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you. The hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he, has, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment, because he's the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good deeds to resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Today we see why Jesus was persecuted and killed by the scribes, the Pharisees, the Jews, because he proclaimed himself as the Son of God. He made himself equal to God. This is the main reason why Jesus was killed. He had this pretension. And when he said, my father is at work until now, so I am at work, and the Pharisees, or the Jews, realized that he was making himself equal to God, Jesus did not say, don't misunderstand me. I just wanted to say that I am symbolically the Son of God. No, he reinforced the idea 
he just said. He's saying, I have the same authority that God my Father has because we share the same nature. I am divine as my Father is divine. And that's why I have the, I have the power to raise the dead. I have the power to judge. So, how can we proclaim today Jesus' divinity? How can we defend Jesus' divinity today? Currently, we can do so by defending his doctrine, by not compromising his doctrine. Sometimes, because we don't want to feel bothered, we manipulate and change the message of God for our own convenience, because we don't like to hear what the Lord is telling us, because his word is demanding, because his word implies conversion, demands conversion. Today, we are living a new heresy, which is not as new. It's been the same old heresy, that of Ario, when he denied the divinity of Jesus. Today, in our church, we see how many people from within the church are denying Jesus' divinity. Today, we have to be faithful to this message. Jesus is God, and everything that came out of his mouth is word of God. We have to respect this. We have to embrace it, because this is the only way we can obtain life. Notice what Jesus says in the gospel today. He says, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my, hears my word and believes and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Jesus' word is able to give you life when you hear his voice, when you obey his commandments, when you believe that everything he has taught is word of God. So let us not manipulate for our convenience the Word of God. The true interpretation of the, of the Word of God, which is the interpretation that the church has given to us because it is the apostolic interpretation. It is the interpretation that the apostles has given to the Word of Jesus, to his message. Let us be humble and let us l let that Word pierce our hearts, our lives, so that we may become a new creature in Christ. It is hard, yes, because of our pride. It is hard, yes, because of, of our stubbornness, yes, but it is not impossible. So let us be thankful for the word of Jesus. Let us believe in his word. There is just another aspect I just want to um, highlight, and I, I am, and, and, and I am done. Jesus is saying to us, there is a judgment, and the dead who hears his voice at his second coming will receive life and they will have a resurrection to life. But those who, who did wicked deeds will rise to a life of condemnation. Well, we have to say this. We cannot um, hide this part of the message. Let us pray in silence.
Let us pray, brothers and sisters, for the Church, the world, and for one another. For our leaders of the Church, that like the Divine Shepherd they may guide, they may guide God's people to good pasture and living water with compassion and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our leaders in the world, that the distress of present conflicts may impel them to turn with greater determination to find every possible to find every way possible to create and preserve peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For mothers who have been without tenderness for the children in their womb, that they may come to a change of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. That the Lord, who is near to all who call upon him in truth, may support and comfort all who feel their need for him in a season of stress, sickness, unemployment, or anxiety. Let us pray to the Lord. For all our beloved dead, that they may hear the voice of the Son of Man calling them into new life. Let us pray to the Lord. God of heaven and earth, hear our prayer and grant what we humbly ask you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have allowed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We humbly, humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread through all the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, who we remember to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The consequence that Jesus suffered for saying what he said, that he was of the same nature of God his Father, the consequence was persecution was that he was killed. And we have to be able to suffer the same, the same consequence. When we defend Jesus' divinity, when we are faithful to his message, we have to be able to praise the, the, pay, the, pay the price for being faithful to his divinity. I just read that one of the bishops in Spain is, is being um, persecuted for defending the truth. So that's the price we have to pay. Let us ask the Lord the strength to be faithful to him 
and let us be thankful for telling us the truth. Let us say the prayer Jesus taught to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Kneel or bow your heads. May your servants be shielded, O Lord, by the protection of your loving kindness that doing what is good in this world, they may reach you their highest good through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou, O woman, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen.